like, comment, and subscribe for more content. What is going on, guys? How are you guys doing? Oh, me? I'm doing fantastic, is how I'm doing. Why is that? That is because today is my birthday. Hell yeah, baby. That's right, the hottest day of the year. By the time you guys see this video, I'll probably be on the grill cooking up some burgers already. And if you guys are anything like me, then you guys like hot stuff, right? Hot chocolate, barbecue, beach babes and bikinis. Dude, I like hot things so much that like I have a whole jar of jalapeno water in my fridge because I've eaten all the jalapenos in the jar already. So I've started to dip my fingers in the jalapeno water and I start to flick it on my food for flavor. That's how much I like hot stuff. So in today's video, to celebrate my birth, we're gonna take a look at the top three fire guys in fighting games, right? And I didn't say fire users, I said fire guys. Completely different concept, my man. That's the difference between like, I don't know, Scorpion and Blaze. One of these dudes, is on fire that's the prerequisite you got to be constantly on fire so before we take a look at the top three fire dudes in fighting games do me a favor help your boy out on his birthday leave a like subscribe i would appreciate that and without any further ado let's get to it so first i want to have a uh, i have a honorable mention i have an honorable mention because i do like this character a lot it's ghost rider right ghost rider from the marvel vs. capcom series Right, uh, I'm counting both Marvel vs. Capcom 3 and Marvel Infinite because he's basically the same character, give or take. There's like slight differences here or there. Um, I really like Ghost Rider in the Marvel games because, like, you know, it's not often, but you know, when you play enough fighting games, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. When you pick up a character and you think they're gonna play a certain way, and they do, right? And it perfectly gels with your play style, you know? I'm not even, you know, that big of a zoner dude. Uh, generally, I do like a like a hit and run play style, right? Um, I like rushdown, but also I want to have the ability to zone you. Ghost Rider is mostly a zoning character, but like while he's zoning you in these uh, in these versus games, he's like moving you a, a, like around the screen. He's like positioning you. It's really interesting, right? I really like that. If there's a Marvel vs. Capcom 4, which I think there will be, I have a hunch. Um, I kind of want to see Robbie Reyes, right? The uh, the all new current Ghost Rider. I think that would be awesome. So with Ghost Rider out of the way, our actual third place contender, right, is Dormammu, right? He is also <laughs> in the exact same games as Ghost Rider, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, and Marvel Infinite, right? There's a lot of cool fire characters in the most recent Marvel vs. Capcom games. So yeah, I really like that. Dormammu, he's really interesting because, like, you know, is he a fire dude? We don't know. All I know is that his head is on fire. But, like, you know, he's like this lord of the dark dimension. And, uh, for whatever reason, his head is on fire. So, a lot of his moves include, like, you know, I don't know, dark magic moves. But, like, also a very large portion of his, uh, his moveset is dedicated to fire moves in general, right? Um, his level 2 super, this big old fireball that follows you across the screen. Um, he has a flame carpet, right? Another big thing. He just throws this fire on the floor, and like, when you step in it, you just take fire damage. Really cool. Dalsim has a similar thing in Street Fighter V, but not in Street Fighter VI. Also, Dalsim's not on fire, so he does not make this list, unfortunately. But, Dormammu is just, he's just really cool. Uh, one of my favorite things with fire-based characters is that they fill the screen with fire. And Dormammu does a really good job of doing that, right? When you're fighting Dormammu, that's mostly what he's doing. He's another zoning character, but he's mostly filling the screen with bullshit that you have to contend with, right? Which is another reason why I like him, you know? So Dormammu is the official number three. Ghost Rider is my, uh, technically he's the fourth place contender, but he's the honorable mention. The second place character is Pyron, right? So Pyron, I've talked about this dude extensively in the past couple couple weeks. Pyron is the final boss of the Darkstalkers games. 
dude, hold on to your butts, because this, this is a crazy-ass character. Pyron is this living star system, right? He's this alien that's comprised of living fire and energy, right? And he's also, it's hinted at heavily that he's like a biblically correct angel, right? That these fire beings are what the angels were based off of. Super cool shit, dude. I love it, right? So as the final boss character, Pyron, he's super overpowered, right? <laughs> it's just, he has the best moves in the game easily, right? He has these moves just like uh, Dormammu. Uh, he hits the fire guy trope of just filling the screen with bullshit, right? A lot of fire, a lot of explosions. Uh, one of his supers, he creates like a clone of himself, which is another thing I really like. Um, I think I like cloning myself as much as I like fire, believe it or not, which is a lot, you know? And it's basically like a, uh, you know, it's like a, like a, a Ganesian type move, right? Where he makes a clone of himself. And then this clone, for the most part, it copies Pyron's moves. Um, but also it does its own, like, you know, individual things every once in a while. But anyway, dude, if there is another Darksaucers game ever, right? I'm knocking on wood right now. If, the, if Capcom ever wisens up and makes a new Darksaucers game, dude, I hope they bring Pyron back. And I hope they balance him, honestly, right? Because, like, Pyron, yeah, he's the final boss. But, like, you know, I want a balanced version of him so I can actually play him, like, in tournament and stuff. You know? Um, yeah, that's that old-school Capcom way of doing things, right? Like, the super overpowered boss, like Akuma in their early games, you can't play him. Sorry, he's too good. So, the last character I want to talk about the very last character the number one fire guy in fighting games is blaze from mortal kombat Woo! Man. blaze from mortal kombat i'm joking it's not dude it's cinder of course it's cinder i trolled you guys i got gotcha. you i got gotcha, you guys cinder is the best fire guy in any fighting game ever right this should have been obvious to you guys look at me do you see it of course it's Cinder. Come on, guys. Cinder, when Cinder first dropped in Season 2 of Killer Instinct, at one point, my Cinder was top 32. Cinder is the most dominant character I've ever used, ever, right? Until this day, I don't think I've ever piloted a character as effectively as I've, you know, piloted Cinder, you know? Um, man, dude, Cinder, where do I start, dude? Cinder takes all the fire guy tropes, right? Filling the screen with bullshit. Right? He has a lot of movement, right? The Trailblazer, he can fly around the screen, right? He can attack you from a lot of crazy angles, right? He has this trait where, like, every couple seconds, he ignites, so he catches on fire, and then it powers up the properties of his next special move, right? So, like, he has this, like, flash kick, right? Cool anti-air. Cool, cool, cool. But when he's on fire and he's ignited, this flash kick has a big pillar of fire, that emerges from the ground afterwards, right? Allowing you to basically just jump up and do a recapture. Super cool shit, you know? But my favorite aspect of Cinder, which there's a lot I like about him as a character, you know? But my favorite aspect about him is the fact that he doesn't really do that much damage. He really doesn't. He has a lot of mobility, right? He has a lot of moves. He can fill the screen with a lot of BS. But the coolest thing about Cinder is that some of his... Uh, his, uh, his, his enders, I don't know why that was so hard for me to say, Cinder's enders, <laughs> um, some of his enders, he has one for punch and one for kick, where he lights you on fire, right, so the punch one lights your, your upper body on fire, and then the kick one lights your legs on fire, and basically, if you do any moves that, you know, correlate to, you know, punches and kicks, it stokes the flames, right? So if the flames, the flames, they dissipate over a couple seconds. But if you're doing punches, then, you know, it it fans the flames, right? So you're probably like, okay, so do you take dot damage from, from these flames? No, you don't. That's the interesting thing. You take white damage. You take potential damage, right? So sure, Cinder doesn't do a lot of damage himself, but he can do a quick combo and then ignite you and then now you're taking potential damage, right? And you get punished for fighting back against him without a plan, right? So if I light your legs on fire and you're just throwing kicks out there, 
you're going to start taking a hell of a lot of, you know, potential white damage. And then Cinder has an ender. Haha, <laughs> it's fun to say. I really like saying that. He has another ender that cashes out all that potential damage, right? So he's this really interesting hit and run character. See, I brought it back. I brought it back, guys. He's a really interesting hit and run character that can fill the screen with bullshit and uh, frustrate your opponent. Get in, light them on fire, right? Frustrate them some more and then land another hit into that cash out ender. Basically, you know, chunking like who knows, right? Depending on how effective you are at fanning those flames, you can kill your opponent in like two combos, right? It's so satisfying to do, man. It's so satisfying. And I think that's why I like playing Cinder so much, right? Because just out of all of the fighting game characters I've ever played, I think his like his game plan, you know, his movement, just what I'm allowed to do with him, it matches it just it meshes with me so well you know and that's why cinder is the top fire guy in fighting games what do you guys think do you guys think i'm insane huh do you guys have another fire guy that you guys think belongs on this list do you guys think that i'm wrong for not including dalsam or kin huh do you i don't think so they should have been on fire anyway guys that's the video i'll catch you guys in the next one peace